All right, so um, I got myself the uh, Toja grid. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's from Canada, so I doubt it's pronounced Toha. <laughs> um, there's some of the boxes of the brackets and the shade. Um, but I ended up purchasing the six, uh, the six by six um, version, uh, just because I kind of wanted some stouter beams and columns than the four by four kit. Um, so I ended up just getting the eight by 12 foot uh, grid with a shade covering on it with the gray um, shade cover and uh, started to try to put this together. Um, actually took this bracket to Home Depot and uh, you know compared it to these beams. These are pressure treated um, six by sixes made by Yellowwood and uh, found out in the store that that bracket didn't just slide right on. Um, and I think one of the reasons why is because in their bracketry, um, you know, this is one of the feet, but uh, this is a bent piece of steel, and then this is a bent piece of steel right here, and then they put them together, and then they, they do these spot welds um, to hold the plates together. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I think these spot welds are fine because these have like a little shear feature in them uh, where the plates come together and they kind of lock in. But uh, one of the issues is, is that they actually spot weld inside uh, just so that probably cosmetically so that you, it doesn't look bad on the outside. Um, but this spot weld, I think is what causes the fitment issues on these uh, on these six by sixes. So what I've had to do is I broke the chisel out and uh, started rounding these corners on the uh, six by sixes. And I already got one on, and it slides right on. This one I'm still working on. Um, I'm gonna have to I think round it a little bit more. I can get it up about three quarters of the way and then it just stops so I'm going to keep rounding that corner even more and hopefully she'll slide right on. chisel did not work as well as we thought so we brought the hand planer out way quicker <laughs> way quicker got the master carpenter here <laughs> killing it all right still getting it planed shavings everywhere we got these all fitted up planer is the key to this if power not, planer will be even more Power planer even more <laughs> If you got it. <laughs> So this guy happened to be 
not fully engaged. So one thing he can do is just use a ratchet strap. And I actually had, uh, you know, this already screwed in. I popped the, the screws out and those holes used to be right here. That's how far out it was. So the ratchet strap, you know, scooted this whole thing, no problem. And the way I noticed it was the Toja grid wasn't showing, uh, it wasn't showing all the wood through there. So I knew it was out of whack. So I went ahead, just used these little ratchet straps and it scooted it enough to where, um, you know, I'm gonna go and drive these back in and it should be somewhat square. All right, so to drill these holes into the concrete, you're gonna need the appropriate tools and a hammer drill is pretty much necessary uh, to drill this down into the concrete so that your anchors can you know, be deep enough. Um, you're also gonna need a concrete drill bit, you know, the appropriate size for whatever fastener you decide to use. Um, what I ended up using was, I ended up getting these Tapcon 3 8 inch uh, diameter uh, anchors. These are actually removable. I did that for a reason. Um, I know you can get the wedge anchors, um, but you know, I if, if I ever have to change out this pressure treated wood, which is a possibility, um, you know, I want to be able to move this stuff. Um, and I don't want to like just drill holes in my concrete and then not be able to use them again. Alright, so this is what the final product looks like. I got uh, two anchors right here. Um, not convinced I need all four. Um, right now, I'm just going to have two in each feet. And they're all on the inside. Um, I'll likely put the others in, but um, like I said, I doubt there's a whole lot of load on this thing. And, uh, you know, this is eight fasteners times you know, 2,000 pounds, it's 16,000 pound capability. And I don't think, <laughs> with those little surface areas I have on here that I'm gonna get that kind of force on these bolts. But I may end up putting the other two in on each foot um, just for completeness sake. But uh, as of right now, I think I'm good with the way the anchors are. And uh, so, that's pretty much the finished product right there and uh, really satisfied with the Toja grid other than the fact that we had to plane every single end to make them fit into the bracket but it looks really nice and uh, for the price it's really hard to beat so um, I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put some more screws in I didn't put um, all the screws in because we were fighting with a thunderstorm the day that we put this up. So I think I'm gonna go back through and finish putting in my screws on these ends um, and just kind of finish it out. And then I will probably show you how I hang the shade as well, because that, that's definitely not up yet. So, all right. I'm gonna put the shade up. Um, the way I'm gonna do this um, without marking it first is I'm just gonna go ahead and put the corner brackets up in each of the corners. And then um, I'll likely, um, you know, put the other bracket here and then the other bracket mid span of these beams uh, so that I can just get the thing hung up. And then for the 12 foot sections here, you know, I've got two brackets and so I kinda wanna see on the shade you know where those straps are located 
So I can just, you know, go up there, pull it, mark it, and then, you know, put the four remaining brackets on these, you know, two 12-foot beams. And then pull it in tension and uh, have myself a nice shade. Alright, so these corner brackets, uh, they just kind of line up right there. And then you pop two screws in each of those corners and uh, it should be good to go. So I'm going to put it on a time lapse just to show me putting everything up. But um, I'll also put the other brackets here mid-span. Um, that's probably the same height um, as these holes just so everything is kind of level and uh, hopefully it will look real nice in the end. All right, so there's the finished product. Um, beautiful looking shade. Um, you know, it's 12:30, so the sun is pretty much right overhead, and uh, really impressed with how it turned out. And uh, really looking forward to utilizing this space um, throughout the rest of the summer and into the fall. And uh, yeah, it makes the back of our house. A little bit nicer looking than just an open patio so um, if you guys have any questions um, about toji grid and you know the things that I talked about in the video please reach out um, you know I uh, love to help people to me you know I find a lot of joy and satisfaction in knowing you know that people are you know problem solving on their own um, that they're solving you know, they're not having to pay people to come solve their problems, but, you know, they use YouTube um, as a means to find information to do things for themselves. So uh, any way I can help people, um, just let me know and uh, reach out. And uh, I think, you know, some of the tools that I use, I'll put them in the link of the description. It just made my life easier. Um, you don't have to buy them through my links or anything like that, but just kind of letting people know you know, the tools that I used to put this up with just two people. Um, I think Toja Grid themselves recommend four to six people. Um, you know, it's not a bad idea to have that many people, but if you don't have that amount of people who can commit a day to putting this up, uh, you know, two, and you might even be able to do it yourself uh, if you have the right equipment. Um, but anyways, uh, hope this helps, and uh, thank you. All right, bye.